In this video, we will go over how to troubleshoot the Bluetooth audio connection between your iPad and Pianda system. Before we begin, please make sure that there are no other Pianda systems turned on or plugged in near the system that you are troubleshooting. The audio input switch is located on the left side of the Prodigy CPU and can sometimes get moved during installation. Make sure that it's set to Bluetooth, which is the first setting on the left. Unlock your iPad and open the Settings app and select Bluetooth. Make sure the Bluetooth toggle is set to on and select PD Silent Drive BT Audio under My Devices to connect to it. If you select PD Silent Drive BT Audio and a connection unsuccessful message appears, or there are multiple PD Silent Drive BT Audio entries, forget them by tapping on the I icon and then tap Forget This Device. Once you have cleared the Bluetooth devices, toggle the Bluetooth radio off and on, and then try connecting to PD Silent Drive BT Audio. If you followed all the previous steps and are still having trouble connecting, Reset the CPU by unplugging and plugging it back in. Or, press and hold the reset button located on the lower right of the CPU for 1 to 2 seconds. After you've reset the CPU, turn your iPad off and on again by pressing and holding the sleep wake button at the top of your iPad until a slide to power off slider appears at the top of the screen. Swipe the button to the right to turn off your iPad, wait about a minute, and then press and hold the sleep wake button until your iPad turns on. Once your iPad is on and you've unlocked it, repeat step A to connect to your piano disc system. Note, if you play a song from the iQ Player app and you hear a screeching noise, then you have not successfully connected to PD Silent Drive BT Audio.